YouTube. Today we're going to show you how to calibrate your CX20 and your CX20 remote. We're going to start with the remote first. Okay, look at the remote. You want to focus on the remote there, cameraman? Okay, so we have a remote in hand. We want to switch the SB switch down to 1. We want to make sure our, our uh, this is uh, our up down is centered. Hold this up and turn your remote on. You're in calibration mode. Once you're in calibration mode, you want to take and move these to your corners five times. This calibrates how far the stick can move for around five times. Wow, they hurt. Okay, after you've calibrated your sticks, you want to start by calibrating your auxiliary too. Start by turning it all the way to the uh, left, then turn it right, then turn it left. Then go to auxiliary one, right, left. Okay, after you get uh, your aux adjusted, go ahead and shut your remote off. You're done with the calibration on your remote. Now we're going to calibrate the GPS on the quad. To calibrate your compass on your CX20, you plug in you plug in your uh, your battery. Turn on your remote. Hold this down to the right, and you see the uh, the way our lights flashing here. You're going to look for a red yellow light. When you get that red yellow light, you're ready to start your calibration. I'm going to let my son do the GPS calibration. Right. Should I do it right now? Do it right now. One. You're going to do five two, turns. Three. Four. Five. Point down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're not, you probably won't get this right the first time. After calibration is done, go ahead and unplug your uh, CX20, turn off your remote. You should be set to fly, um, but there is likelihood that you will have to try this multiple times. Uh, this In this video, we did have multiple attempts to get the red-yellow flashing on the CX-20, but you'll get it done. If you like this video, or if you like this video, hit the like button. button. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Thank you.